Greetings, YouTube. You are staring at a paused video of a real-life advertisement that people have been sending me images of and the full video of pretty much all day. I have not heard about this ever, but today might have been day one of this ad campaign because in the chat of the live stream I recently just ended on my channel, I had people tell me they saw the same ad on Seton's videos, on KT1's videos, and on my videos, and I'm sure countless others. That is just a small sample size of, obviously, people who watch MCOC on YouTube. So, arena bots are paying to advertise content over MCOC videos on YouTube. You can't make this up. And, in theory... Kabam says that they don't actually like to, despite what happened with me a year ago with my ban, uh, they don't like to intercede or step on any content creator's shoulders unless they're promoting fraud or something that breaks the terms of service. Well, spoiler alert, arena bots and the systems that they work around to not be caught by Kabam is a direct violation of the terms of service. So the irony that Kabam will only, in theory, or allegedly, step into a YouTube video if they're promoting content that is essentially cheating, like mods or bots. Uh, and now that same software is paying to be advertised over YouTube videos that aren't showing those things. My head kind of is exploding. It is, um, it's just unbelievable. And you can see in this uh video staggering figure but trust me it's true your botter examines the situation so uh or your botler i should say sort of like butler but botler kind of clever i guess um i have wondered you know how am i going to do a video on this company because it's very well known and you can look it up on so many different platforms it's not like they're hiding in the shadows they're not you know having a private line app message board with Mercs. They're out there advertising their content now paying, I'm guessing what is a decent amount of money to Google, which owns and runs YouTube to have their ads run. So your bottler examines the situation and looks at your opponent and then does something dynamic depending on what his status is. Check it out. So it actually shows you how the bot runs while you sleep and if you're not satisfied you can receive a full refund you have nothing to lose other than <laughs> your account but actually says other than hours and hours pushing a button over and over so best mcoc bot and it's your bottler.com that's the sponsor of these new ads i just gotta say <laughs> You can't make this up. And I really uh, appreciate the information from everybody, including The Last Straw, who sent this over to me today. I, I just, um, I don't really know what to say. Like, this is, this is somebody who's so confident in their ability to laugh in Kabam's face as they threaten every time a new arena comes out and they have that clause at the bottom that says, use of any third-party software will not be tolerated and will lead to a permanent ban. Like, yeah, we've heard that for five years and we keep updating our software to get around whatever your apparently prehistoric software is compared to them. And now they're trying to get people to pay money. But I just keep saying this. It says you have nothing to lose. That is a bold faced lie. If you are caught running bots in the arena, you will lose your account and you will be spending money to lose that account. And regardless of what this company says, about getting a full refund. Hey, you get a full refund, but if you have an account that you spent years uh, producing and developing and growing, and then you lose it, I don't care how much you spent to use the bot, you're not going to get the value of that account back with the refund. So don't use bots. Be very, very weary of this advertisement, but also know that it is now since today, if not maybe before, but it's just kind of hard to believe it's been running for days and yet I've only been hearing about it all of a sudden from multiple people. Regardless, it's out there and it's you just can't make it up. This is why I love doing 
news related videos on MCOFC because I was never going to wake up this morning and think I'm going to be talking about how a bot has paid for advertisement to be run over my videos, especially if they're ironically about not using bots in the arena to use bots in the arena. <laughs> what a world we live in. It's 2020. What are your thoughts on this? Comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Oh man, just so much to say. I just, I've got to process it. Might, might take me a few days.